Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through a super simple yet incredibly effective AI agent that handles all aspects of interview preparation when you're hiring new staff. So all you have to do is upload the job description, the candidate's CV, as well as their LinkedIn profile URL. And then the agent is going to do everything as far as analyzing the candidate's experience against the job requirements, scraping completely their LinkedIn profile and posts, conducting comprehensive web research, and then finally delivering a detailed five section summary with everything you need to prepare for your interview, including 15 tailored interview questions. So let me demo this one real quick. So here I'm actually using a open job position from Relevance AI, the tool I used to build this. So here they're hiring an AI solution engineer, and I've sort of put myself in the shoes of someone working at Relevance, and I myself am applying to this position. So here I've just added obviously that uh, job description as a PDF, my CV in PDF form, and then a link to my LinkedIn URL. And I can quickly just send this one off to my agent. After just a couple of minutes, we can see that our agent is done with the interview preparation analysis. So in the background, it performed five different steps. I'll walk you through each of these tools in a second when I walk you through the setup of this agent, but let's first take a look at what it delivers. So first of all, we get a quick summary, very short one paragraph on the career and experience of the candidate, and then um, a section on what are the strongest points for this position. So the agent is obviously comparing what it reads in the job description to what it found in the candidate's uh, CV, their LinkedIn profile, what they're posting about, and any other content that it found on the web about the candidate. So what are the strongest points? Also, what are the weakest points? And maybe these are things that should be discussed uh, during the interview. Now, this next section is super useful. What information did the agent find about the candidate that is not mentioned in their CV? And then finally, we have the interview questions. So here we have the up to 15 tailored interview questions that address some of these topics from what the agent found. And all this in a matter of minutes. As I said, typically, this was taking me up to half an hour to prepare per interview. So let's take a look exactly how this agent is built here in relevance. So I'm gonna go into the build mode and walk you through here the uh, system prompt or the core instructions of this agent. Now at the end of the video, I will show you exactly how to clone this template and you can import this whole agent along with all of its tools uh, into your own relevance account. But first let me walk you through and explain exactly what it is doing. So here we can see role, you're an AI research assistant tasked with gathering and summarizing information about applicants for an open job position in our company. Your goal is to help the interviewer to prepare the interview questions and path by conducting research on the interviewee, the candidate, and generate an interview proposition. And so here for the next section in the tools, we can see our agent has been equipped with four tools. So first the extract data from PDF. So here it's gonna extract content from PDF documents and that is the job description as well as the candidates uh, CV. So let me show you actually inside this tool exactly uh, how it works. So this is our extract data from PDF tool. We can see that it takes three different inputs. So we need to give it the URL of a PDF, then some data points to extract. So specify the data points you wish to extract. So here the agent is able to basically give this tool instruction, say, hey, with this document, this is the information that I want to extract. And finally, the agent can decide what large language model it can use. This tool is very simple. It then just has a couple of steps. So we're using the uh, inbuilt uh, action from relevance, which is convert PDF to text. And then finally, based on what is filled out here, we're making a call, a large language model call to extract that specific data. And we're dynamically passing in those points that we mentioned above. So here we can see above is some extract the text from a PDF file please extract the list of data points. If there is no relevant data found, then return none data to be extracted. And here it's giving it. So this is just a prompt telling the agent or telling the tool exactly how it should extract that data from the PDF. And what's actually useful is if we go back to the agent setup is it's actually gonna use this tool twice. First, for getting the details of the job description. And secondly, for getting the details of the candidate CV. And it's basically gonna instruct that tool differently depending on what type of document it's extracting. Next up, we can see it's gonna use the tool extract and summarize LinkedIn profile. So this scrapes the details of the candidate's LinkedIn profile. We can also check this tool out 
Very simple, it just takes two input. One is required, which is the LinkedIn profile of the user. And obviously we give that to the agent when we instruct it to get started on its interview preparation. And optionally, we can also have the LinkedIn username. Here simply, we're just using the uh, retrieve LinkedIn profile action from relevance and that's the get user profile. And you can see dynamically, um, we're passing the profile URL of the candidate. And then finally, we're using a filter here to basically just extract the about and experiences part of that um, candidate's LinkedIn. You could choose to add more or less here as you configure it. And finally, we just have an LLL, LLM prompt to ChatGPT 4.0 Mini, basically creating a short summary. So rather than giving back to our agent the whole LinkedIn profile, we're just using the tool to get the data from the LinkedIn profile, have AI write a summary, and then give that back to our agent. The next tool that the agent is equipped with is get recent posts from LinkedIn. So we can check that one out here. Again, it actually just has one input, which is the LinkedIn URL. It's going to then basically call this tool, get a LinkedIn profile or company and posts. And here the method is just get user posts. So previously we were using get user profile. This tool uses get user posts. And then it actually just sends back all of those posts back to the agent for it to read through. The final tool that our agent has access to is the research person's online content. This one's quite interesting. So we have a few different inputs here that the agent can decide. The names of the companies where the person worked, obviously that it's going to pick up from the LinkedIn profile, any certifications and degrees that the person has, again, what it's getting from LinkedIn, the person's full name and their email, which we probably get from the um, CV of the candidate. And what this uh, tool then does is performs a series of Google uh, searches. So we can see we've created a list here for it to loop over. So the first time it's looking for interviews, the next one's blog and finally press releases. And all it's doing is doing a series of Google searches. So it's gonna take the full name of the candidate, their email address, and then whatever uh, item this is. So in my case, it will be Jan Meineke, Jan at go9x.com interview. Jan Meineke, Jan at go9x.com blog and press release and so on. And so this is giving a good chance to see if the candidate has any sort of online presence and you can fully customize this. And then finally, we just have another LLM step that is sort of summarizing everything that is found. And we can see it's quite a detailed prompt here in terms of what um, basically summary the tool should create that it then returns back to our agent. So now that we've equipped our agent with tools, we obviously need to give it some instructions on how it should use them. So here we can see in the system prompt, the instructions to make your research about the interviewee. First, read the provided job opening provided to you in PDF format. Here it's gonna use its extract data from PDF tool and understand what is the offer about, what kind of profile is being searched and what would be appropriate topics or questions to cover for this position. Then again, use the same tool, but this time to extract information from the candidate's CV. This is data about the candidate that the candidate themselves has provided to us. And it's important. We need to use this to not only guide our research, knowing what are the main skills and information they present to us. Next up, it's going to head to LinkedIn. And first of all, use the extract and summarize LinkedIn profile tool to retrieve the LinkedIn profile data of the candidate, making the use of the LinkedIn URL of the candidate or otherwise find it if it was provided in the CV of the candidate. So it can be a little bit flexible there if it doesn't receive the LinkedIn URL immediately. You can also look into the CV to see if the LinkedIn URL is there. Once it has summarized the LinkedIn profile, it's then gonna use its get recent posts from LinkedIn tool to retrieve the LinkedIn posts of the candidate. Use their content to understand the topics that they like to talk about and they discuss on LinkedIn, which might be relevant or interesting to understand their persona and or even create some questions for the interview. You could additionally set up other tools. For instance, if you are working in an industry where people are tend to be very active on X, you could have the agent call a tool to actually research as the person's X profile or their sub stack, depending on whatever um, area you wanna research, you could just set up an additional tool. Then finally, we're using the research person's online content tool to retrieve Google search URLs of online content related to the candidate to fill the variables required by this tool. As we said before, it's using it based on the person's LinkedIn profile. And then, then so after to use these four tools, after the research is completed, we now want our agent to start preparing the interview preparation document for us. 
So I'm gonna ask it to complete the following tasks. Provide a detailed explanation of the interviewee's profile, including their career and experiences, focused on information relevant for the job open position. And so here that's that first profile section where we have the career and experience, the strongest points for this position, the weakest points for this position, and the information not mentioned in the CV. And the format that we're using here in telling the agent how it should respond is known as markdown. So you can see here I've got these two hashtags that's indicating that it should be a heading two. And then everything with these two stars or two asterisks is basically indicating bold text. And we can see that's exactly why we get this very nice formatted interview preparation document afterwards that we get a profile and then those different section headings in bold text. So after it completes these four sections, the career and experience, strongest and weakest points, and then the information not mentioned in the CV, now it's time for the agent to come up with our interview questions. So here create a list of 10 to 15 interview questions that would be interesting to ask the interviewee to get to know them better and know if they are a good fit for the job position, have into account all information we've collected about them and the job position requirements, and here output it as follows. Ensure that your questions are informative, engaging and tailored to specific interviewee and job position before you send me your answer make sure it is well formatted in markdown take a good breath keep calm and let's go so if you're interested in getting a full copy of this agent template including all the four tools that we have set up if you head over to our website and the tutorials section sharing different ai and automation tutorials you simply just need to uh, register for free and then find the specific tutorial for this video. So here it is, build an HR interview prep agent in Relevance AI, and I'll leave a link in the description below. On this tutorial page, once you are signed up, you will find here a uh, link to clone the template. You simply just need to click this one, and this will open up your Relevance account. If you do not have an account yet, this is where you'll be prompted to sign up. Then you can simply clone agent into my project, and within one click, you have the full agent. You can click on build mode, and then customize the prompt and also easily customize any of the tools that have set up or add uh, even more tools. Now, when it comes to pricing, if we take a look at this agent that ran previously, so this used 611 credits, bit on the expensive side. So this works out to about $1.21 USD based on the, the relevance plan that we are on. However, we haven't optimized this one too much and we're using sort of the top model here what you can choose simply is to uh, pick a cost optimized model. The results may not be as good, but it's gonna be drastically uh, cheaper. In the relevance free plan, you only get 100 free credits. So for instance, you probably won't be able to run this one even once using the top AI models, and you will probably need to upgrade to a paid account. Now, one big opportunity to take this agent further, obviously you don't always want to go and like paste the candidates LinkedIn, their PD, the PDF of their CV, and also the PDF of the job description. Here on the triggers, what we can do is any of these relevance agents can be triggered by a custom webhook. There's also a Zapier integration. So whether you're using Zapier, Make, N8N, you can easily plug that into whatever HR or recruiting software you're using so that whenever an interview is scheduled, you're automatically triggering this agent. The agent does all the interview prep and could even save that to a Google document, which it sends either stores back in the recruiting software that you're using or sends you via email or Slack. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also subscribe to the 9X channel for more of these AI agent tutorials. Also, if you have any questions on the setup, if anything isn't working, just drop them in the comments below and I'm happy to help. But otherwise, until next time, happy automating.